so if you've just uploaded or upgraded should I say to Apple's 10.15 operating system which is Catalina it is possible that some of your Roland drivers will not now work now I have tested a number of drivers on 14 and 15 and found them both to work okay um, but if you wanted to go through the process of upgrading to the 10.15 which is the specific Catalina drivers this is what you need to do first of all you need to download the old 10.14 driver packs and what you then need to do is you then need to expand that driver pack and you should see the USB driver 10.113 package which is what you would have installed when you installed the relevant uh, piece of equipment and this is actually the driver for the JX03 boutique um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uninstall it so you uninstall it by using the uninstaller that comes with the installer package you double click on that it asks you if you want to uninstall the package you click OK it then asks you tells you that you're going to un uninstall um, you shouldn't have the device connected and I do actually have the device to the side of the computer so I've just unconnected it and I'm going to un uninstall the package there you go do you want to uninstall and the answer is yes I do OK now ask me for the relevant password which I've got wrong <laughs> let's try again uh, and then it's now uninstalled the package now it's going to ask me to restart the computer at this point so I'm going to pause the recording restart the computer and then come back and those observant of you will have noticed that the boutique driver has now disappeared from this bottom uh, side of the system preferences so now we go through to the 1015 driver and the way we do this again the JX03 is not plugged into the computer so what we do here is we double click on the package uh, do I want to do this yes I do click continue and install then enter the password hopefully this time I can remember what it is and click install software now we do know it wants to restart the machine so I'm happy for it to restart the machine when we've completed this so we'll continue with the installation I am going to allow this to access my desktop folder So now the driver has finished installing and we're going to restart the computer. So at this point I will click restart, but I'm going to pause the recording again and carry on. Now remember, up until this point, the JX03 has been uninstalled. You leave it uh, unconnected, you leave it unconnected. And again, those observant among you will notice that this boutique symbol has now appeared. Now, Roland actually give you something that's really useful, but I'll come on to, onto that in a sec, because it's around this install helper, which didn't exist in the previous releases of the driver. Um, but this is the point now where we, re we connect the boutique device, in this case the JX03, and we turn it on. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to go and check the security. So you open up security and privacy from the system preferences. Um, and we're going to look for general. And we're going to see if we have any uh, messages around, about the driver install here. Now, because I've had the Roland driver on this machine, then I've already trusted Roland as a source. But if I hadn't had the Roland driver on this machine, it is very possible that there will be a message sitting down there that says something along the lines of system software from developer Roland Corporation was blocked from loading with a button that says allow. And at that point, you can allow the software 
or the driver to be loaded into the system. But because I've already had it on the machine, or and I've got and I've got other Roland items on the machine, I don't have to go through that process. So at this point, effectively, the JX03 is installed on this machine. Now, what I was going to say is there is something called the Install Helper now. And the Install Helper is a, a new app that Roland have or are del delivering as part of their package. And the Install Helper is effectively run from that file. It asks you, do you want to run this tool? And again, because of the security on my machine, I need to enter a password. And I've got a funny feeling I just entered the wrong password. Thought as much. Try again. And effectively what this does is it goes off and looks at the driver installation and tells you whether the driver has been successfully loaded or not. So this is just another step in the load process just to make sure that things have been loaded correctly. But this has all worked out fine for me, so I don't have to do any more now. Um, and that is how you are, get from the 10.14, 10.13 driver to the 10.15 driver on your Mac. If you liked the content of the video you've just seen, please give it a thumbs up. It just helps the YouTube algorithm with its selection process. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free to do that as well. Um, down below somewhere should be the ability to do that. Um, I do try to respond to all the comments that are raised on the channel. Uh, sometimes it takes me a few weeks because of what I'm doing and I'm getting more and more and more comments and uh, questions raised on the channel so it just takes sometimes a little bit of time to do a bit of research. If you want to be notified when I put more rants, mailbergs and videos about this sort of legacy tech and even modern tech on the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon and you'll be notified by YouTube when stuff happens. I try to publish at least two times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. Until next time, bye-bye.